everyone. It's nice to have you with me again today. Jan, no, March. <laughs> feels like January. It's March 10th, Friday. And we have some snow. We're supposed to get like maybe three inches, which really isn't that much considering that we haven't had much this winter at all. Today in my Easter journal, I want to make a page that has a coin envelope on it. So I've taken this piece, this print from the kit, Ink and Page Woodland Summer, and I'm going to make a coin envelope out of this. So the first thing I'll do is fold it in thirds and get approximately about the size that I want for my coin envelope. Probably not that wide, probably more like this. And I'm not measuring, I'm just guessing. So we have it folded in thirds, and then I will need to fold up for the bottom, and then I'll need to fold down for the top. So this is what the size of my coin envelope will be. Let's see how it's gonna fit on our page. I have this page that I've decided to use, and it is a piece of mixed media. Look at that, perfect fit. So, since we know that it's going to fit, we can now trim this out. And in order to trim it out, I want to add an angle on the bottom, snip up, and then cut this off, this bottom piece right here. And I'm working on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I'll do the same thing. Add an angle, I'll go up to that corner where it's folded, and then I'll snip this off. So then when it's closed, that's what we'll have there. So that creates our bottom. Now for our top, I want to have a rounded top. So what I'm going to do is without creasing it, and I'm going to round that top, lining them up together so I get the same cut on both, both sides. And I'll just round it just like that. And hopefully that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. So let's open this up. And below this line, we're going to cut this off. And the same on the other side. Below the fold line, we're going to cut this top. So on the left and the right, below the fold line, you're going to cut those sides off. Then we have what looks like this. Let's see if that needs to be maybe just touched up just a little bit here. There. Now, this doesn't need to have so much of it folded over here. So I'm going to take and cut about this much off just so it folds over enough. There, like that. Now, if, I, if you wanted to, you could make it so that it's right on center. That doesn't matter to me. And now we have our coin envelope. I will glue, put some glue here, Actually, I'll, I'll do it on this side here, and I'm just gonna go right down along the edge, like that. And then fold that over. And I want this on the outside, because if I put it on the inside, this bottom flap, if I put it on the inside, that it's gonna catch anything that I try to put in my coin envelope. So we'll stick that on the outside like that. And I could have, um, also taken this side and made a little dip. Now let's see how this will work with doing it now that it's let's cut that at an angle a little bit. There we go. Exactly what I wanted right there. So I will go about inking all of this up and I want to make sure that I get some ink inside here. It would have been easier probably to do it before, but it'll be okay. Go around the whole outside. Now, I will be putting this onto this page. 
it fits real nice. I need a closure over here. To make a closure, I have these little circles cut out of chipboard, and I'm gonna stack two or three of them together. Let's see what we have here. I think three would work best. So I'll just use a little bit of the tacky glue and glue these together. Let's start with two and see, see what we think. And I will also punch out two little circles of paper. Using my smallest circle punch I have, which is a 5 8 I'm going to cut, punch two little circles. And each of these circles will be glued to the top of these chipboard pieces. So one of the closures will be glued on the top and the other one will be glued on the bottom. And let me think here a second. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna tie it with. I need some thin string, I think. Yes, I know what I'll use. So I will glue these down next. I'm gonna let them set before I add string to them and let them dry thoroughly. And then I'll add my string. So meanwhile, while those are drying, I'm gonna go on my page like this. I wanna put a piece of lace coming up out of the back of that, be like that. And then I have the lamb that I wanna to add to this page. And I want him to be coming up out like that also. But he needs inked up around first. And we also need to add some more behind him and on our envelope here, our coin envelope. And we need a tag for inside our coin envelope. Our tag could be this, I believe. So let's go ahead and do our tag next. Start with inking up the edges. We have this paper from the coin envelope that we want to add. We want to add some of this pink paper also. And let's see what focal point we want to put on our tag. I think we'll use this chick. I was actually hoping to find another lamb, but there was only the one lamb in the kit. So we'll use the chick. It's cute. We can glue our papers on the back. I have some music paper that I made into Mommy Gami. And I will glue that down. Then I can glue down my chick. And of course, you know it's coming. I have to stitch around the outside edge of that. But before I do that, let's put something on the back that brings the front to the back. And we'll use this pink paper, only not so much. And then we'll also stamp our lines on it for journaling. And then we'll go stitch around it. Now, because this is going in the coin envelope, I'm not going to add any ribbon or anything on the top of this because it will it will get in the way of closing the coin envelope. So we're going to let that be just as it is and add a word to it. And the word that I've chosen is delightful because aren't little bunnies just delightful? Little chicks. Little bunnies are too. So we have our tag made. Let's see how our coin envelope's doing over here. Okay, so that's on there pretty secure, and I should have inked up around the edges of this paper before I put it down, but we can still get it in that one. Now for some string, I have a piece of yellow embroidery floss that looks real nice with this, and I'm going to tie a slip knot here and put it around my top circle here, just like that, and pull it tight. Then I want to add a touch of glue, and I'll use my art glitter glue, just to make sure that doesn't come undone, like that. And I will also snip off this tail, some of it, like that. Tuck that inside there. And then we have a closure for our coin envelope. Just go around it in a figure eight and let it dangle. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave that like that. I'm just gonna open it up for now until that I make sure that glue dries again. <laughs> Always waiting on glue drying, right? Glue or the other thing that I wait on quite a bit is the 
embossing paste, the stenciling with the embossing paste. Seems like that we're waiting on forever. We need to add a focal point here too. Now we did a chick here and we have a lamb we're gonna put up here. Maybe we should get a bunny and put down here, right? Or maybe like a basket here of eggs would be nice. I think we have some pretty good choices for what we can fit in that spot. I think we're going to go with the basket of eggs. So we'll ink up around that. And that can fit down here, but we'd need to add stuff behind it. I can't just let that be as it is. And I haven't used much cheesecloth yet in this journal, or any, I don't think, maybe. I don't know. So I'm gonna get a piece of cheesecloth out. And it's okay if it goes beyond our coin envelope because we have a little bit of room on our page that it will be fine. And then my, maybe another piece of some print, more of this, the sheet music paper. What if we did some of this and then put our cheesecloth on top of that and then maybe more of that showing, cheesecloth on the bottom and that in between. I think I can live with that, how about you? All right, so let's glue this up. And we'll put this there for now and we'll see if we want it to extend out that way. For now, we'll just leave it like that in case we wanna use it. And I'm gonna tear off next to our closure because I don't wanna interfere with that. And then we'll take and we'll put some glue down. Actually, tacky glue works better for that cheesecloth. I don't need to secure the whole thing so it doesn't move or anything. I just need to make sure that it's down. And then I'll take my little piece of ephemera from the kit and put some glue on the back of that. Then I think it's time we could our lace down. Well, let's get the glue on the back of our lamb because I can't remember that I have him behind them. I think I had him in front of the lace, so we're okay still. And we'll get our lace down like right there. Then we'll have to get our lamb down because we want his legs to be behind the coin envelope. So put the lamb for here. Take the coin envelope and figure out where that's going to go, which is right about here and bring that lamb up as far as we can, right about there. So Now I have made the back of the coin in envelope into a pocket. So we'll have room down here for something. Let me tear off this. Can't have that that close to the fold. It'll just get in the way. And then we have our little journal card that can go inside our coin envelope, this. And let's figure out what size tag we need for inside the pocket that we built. Now, again, we have so many different pieces of ephemera from the kit. Let's see if we can use up some more of those. So we have a lamb. Talking to myself, figuring this all out, guys. This little bunny is cute on a swing. So I think we'll use that one. And then we'll go with a smaller one than that. How about we go with a flower? And we'll do two so that we don't hide the lamb. So we'll ink up around the edge of them. Now for these two, the last ones we did, we put ruffle on the top. I'm going to put a piece of this lace, this lace, and use that as a page tab. We'll need two pieces, one for each one. And we will put them on with a stapler. There's the other one. That looks really cute. I have this word wonder on a label and we're going to add that to the front of our coin envelope too. And I think we'll put the other piece of lace right there. What if we do that? Yep. There we go guys. There's another page in our spring Easter journal. Moving right along. That's cute. Nice tags. So we have that pocket and then we have a tag, a journaling card in this one. It's just looking good. 
So I want to thank you again for joining me. We'll see you again next time for another page in our Easter Spring Journal. Have a great day, guys. Bye now. Thank you.